Presenting Anne the Hall of Honor Lifetime Achievement Award is something long overdue. In addition to her many family businesses, Anne is a role model for what business leaders should be doing in the civic, charitable, and education community. Listen to a partial list of the organizations that she's been a trustee, director, or a member of, including the Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation, the Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence, the Oklahoma Art Institute, Ballet Oklahoma, the Oklahoma School of Math and Science, the Central Oklahoma Habitat for Humanity, OETA, Allied Arts, the Zoological Society, the Philharmonic and the Symphony, and of course, Oklahoma City University. In fact, Anne received the OCU Lifetime Achievement Award in 1986 and a Distinguished Service Award in 1984. In 1992, Anne received the Ellis Island Medal of Honor from the National Ethnic Coalition of Organizations in New York. In that same year in Denver, the International Women's Forum recognized Anne with the Women Who Made a Difference Award. In 1994, the National Conference of Christians and Jews presented Anne the National Conference Humanitarian Award. And in 1997, she was inducted into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. Anne's commitment to Oklahoma, the arts, and to mankind have been endless. In fact, I can think of no better recipient of the Paul Strasbaugh Lifetime Achievement Award than Anne Allspaugh. She is the perfect role model for the Minder School of Business students. Selflessness, her willingness to serve, but it is her engaging and selfless personality, never seeking the limelight for herself, but always trying, trying to lift others. I think it is that quality that really endears her to all of us and uh, makes her a very special human being. Brenda and I would like to offer our word of congratulations to uh, Ann Simmons Allspaw on this wonderful award. It is richly deserved and one that uh, uh, I think honors someone who is a role model for many in our community, including me.